thank you for holding this hearing. I would like to start by asking all the students that are present to stand. I want to congratulate you, and I am truly impressed uh, that by your leadership and your accomplishments, uh, you should be very proud, because you will be uh, our leaders of tomorrow. Thank you for standing. Unfortunately, too many students across the country do not have the opportunities to participate in inspiring STEM activities or to receive a high-quality STEM education. Once again, our students were just in the middle of the pack in the latest International Test of Science and Math proficiency. Had a long visit just last night with the Minister of Education from Japan, and we talked about that a lot. We can no longer depend on our top few percent to maintain a strong and vibrant economy with good, high-paying jobs in our own communities. Our competitive edge will be lost if we do not vastly improve STEM education in this country for all of our students. We know that this is a complex challenge that no entity can solve alone. There is no silver bullet, and there is a role for all the key stakeholders, public and private. Today we hear from two entrepreneurs and two education leaders in STEM education. I congratulate them for their important work and thank them for taking time to provide their insight to this committee today. But I also want to emphasize the important and unique role of the Federal Government in improving STEM education. Many Federal STEM programs, including those supported by the National Science Foundation and the Department of Education, are making a difference in universities, community colleges, and K-12 through across the nation. There are also many valuable programs being funded through other federal science agencies, such as NASA, NOAA, and the Department of Energy. These agencies are filled with thousands of scientists and engineers who can make a difference in their own communities for students across the country. As working STEM professionals, the real-life work that they do using STEM is so inspiring to our students. Take an astronaut to the classroom. You will see what I am talking about. But the Federal role is more than that. The National Foundation, Science Foundation is the premier STEM education research organization in the country. For decades, the NSF has been a leader in developing the most effective and inspiring STEM curricula and programs in and out of the classroom. When the private sector invests in STEM education, they are looking for proven programs with proven outcomes. The National Science Foundation, more than any other organization, is responsible for building that evidence base. I hope this committee will continue to exercise its responsibility to conduct oversight, NSF, and other agencies' STEM education programs. Today, though, I look forward to hearing from the experts on the first panel about their program and how we measure that impact. I also look forward to hearing from the students about what initially sparked their interest in STEM and what role their teachers, parents, and other mentors have played in helping them to reach their goals. I thank all of you for being here today to share this experience. I want to see the United States move from 26 to 1. When I came here over 20 years ago, we were number 18. We are going backwards. We are challenged. We got to meet that challenge. Thank you. Thank you.